Good, good morning. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, I think I see you guys. Oh, there you are. Hi, uh, it's me, Mr. Fuzzy Wugs. Um, do you like my new mask? It's very clean. I haven't eaten any cookies yet, so it doesn't have any chocolate chip stains on it. But um, if you want to bring me double chocolate, 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 chocolate chip cookies, I will be very happy. Okay, so please bring them maybe tomorrow. Okay, guys, and sneak them under the door um, to Mrs. Erica's room. And um, but don't say they're for me, but I'll know they're for me. Okay, guys. Anyways, I better go. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. Uh, good morning. He's asking for cookies again. This guy is so silly. You can't ask the kids for cookies. Um, so welcome, everybody. We hope you're having a good week. And uh, it feels like, I don't know why it feels like a long time since uh, the last time we met, but uh, I don't know why that feels so long. Anyways, here we are. And um, what are we doing this week? We're getting back into our typing. Woohoo! Hopefully you guys remember about that. Some of you guys kind of fell off the boat in the uh, third quarter and you stopped typing. So if that's you and you stopped typing, please start typing again. We don't want you to forget. Um, yes, just like eating cookies. If you stop eating cookies, then you're going to forget how to eat cookies. So you don't want to stop typing because then you're going to forget how to, to type, right? Guys, yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Uh, no, it's not like eating cookies because we can eat cookies and then we can not eat cookies and then we can eat cookies again. But with typing, if you do stop, you're going to get slow again and you're going to forget where all the keys are on the keyboard. So we're going to have a few lessons every week in the fourth quarter. Uh, so let me show you guys really quick. Um, we're starting at lesson 160 this week. So I can't even believe we're up to 160. Uh, it's really just a review, but we're learning with the shift key. So remember lowercase r and then for shift, you hold the shift key down for uppercase r and then you do r. So you're just practicing using the shift key um, with the different letters, okay? Um, and then there's going to be nine lessons. So it's six, lesson 61, 62, 63, 4, 5, 60, up to 69, okay? So that's going to be your practice this week. Make sure you go and do that typing. Um, and so that way you don't forget where all the letters are on the keyboard and you don't get super slow. You know, our goal is you're going in third grade. You should be able to type up things by the time you're in third grade. So that's going to be part of your assignment this week. Next thing we're doing is we're moving back into our computer coding. So I hope everybody had a lot of fun last week. Um, let's see, lesson four. We, we did lesson four, programming with Angry Birds. This week, we're going to actually do two lessons, lesson five and six, debugging. We're going to be learning about debugging. And then we're going to be learning about the collector, collecting treasure. And I know who's very excited about collecting treasure, Lego man, <laughs> but uh, he's not here today, uh, but um, maybe next week he'll come. So let's start off. I'm just gonna, there's a short video in lesson five. So let's start out with the video. <laughs> computer scientists, no matter how experienced they are, run into errors that they need to fix. This is where debugging comes in. Debugging is just a word that means finding and fixing errors in a program, and the first step towards fixing errors is to find them. Most puzzles have a step button below the play space that you can use to hunt for problems. If your program doesn't work, press the step button and see what happens. Does the character take action in the right way? If everything looks good with the first block of code, press the STEP button again. How does everything look? Is it still running right? Keep going through your code line by line until you find the first place where things go wrong. What happened? What was supposed to happen? What does that tell you? In this puzzle, I get to the last line of code and don't reach the goal. What happened? 
I got to the end of my code without solving the puzzle. What was supposed to happen? I need to go forward one more step. What does that tell me? It tells me I need to drag out one more of these blocks and attach it to the end before I click run. Ta-da! That's how you debug a program. You guys are ready to do some debugging. So let's press the continue button. And here we are. It says this code isn't quite right. Fix the code to help Scrat get to the acorn. So we see here it says move forward, move forward. So we have two move forwards. So I'm going to run it. So if we do move forward, move forward, we see Scrat isn't quite there. It looks like we need one more move forward to get Scrat to the acorn. So let's see if that works. Yep, so we needed to add one more move forward. So great job, everybody. Use your debugging skills to get Scrat to the acorn. So let's, I'm gonna test this one out. So you could also hit the step button. That will also move through step-by-step. Step. So we have a move forward a turn right, a move forward. Oh, I jumped into the water. So it looks like he turns right too quickly, right? He needs to move forward and then move forward one more time and then turn right. So move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward. And now he's over here and he needs one more move forward and then it looks like we will be able to solve the puzzle so let's watch move forward move forward turn right move forward move forward yay our algorithm worked and our scrat got to the acorn so when we're debugging we're looking for mistakes we're looking for errors those are called bugs and when we fix them then our computer program can work and it can do what it's supposed to do the step button is very helpful because it highlights each of the blocks one by one and you can follow along. So let's see what happens. Move forward, move forward. Oh no, he's already going past. So we can already tell we have too many move forwards because he only needs to move forward once and then turn left. So move forward, turn left, move forward and it worked, yay. So we're really just going step by step. We're seeing if each of the steps works, if they work, beautiful. If they don't, we fix the mistake and we make them work. So let's follow step by step for this one. Move forward, turn right, move forward. Ah! What do you think the mistake was, Mr. Fuzzy Wugs? I think he needs to turn left, not right. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's switch the direction on that one, turn left. So now if we do move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left again. Uh-oh, I wonder if that's the, oh, it's the wrong direction. I think they had the directions mixed up. Um, it should be turn right. Yes, turn right. So now if he turns right, now let's say it looks like it'll work. <laughs> Woo! So in this problem here, we had the directions were mixed up. That was the problem. These blocks are locked and cannot be deleted. So these ones are locked. So we can rearrange the blocks. So there's a lot of blocks here. So you really have to take it step by step. So let's see. First step, move forward. So that's one move forward. Move forward again, two move forwards. Now, if he moves forward a third time, he's gonna be in the water. So we really only need two move forwards. So we need to get rid of one of these. And now let's think about which direction he needs to turn right. So let's get a turn right and stick it on. Oh, there's still an extra one. And now let's see what's going on. So now 
he, I'm going to do the step by step. So let me reset. So we have a move forward, a move forward, a turn right, a move forward, a move forward. If he moves forward again, he's going to be in the water. So we need to get rid of another move forward. Because if he does, he's going to be in the water. So now we have two more move forwards. So now let's say another step here. Oh no, wait, let's try it again. Reset. So we have move forward, I'm going step by step. Move forward, turn right, move forward. Move forward, turn right. Oh, I think it's turn left. Turn left. Let's try again. What are you doing, Mrs. Erica? I know, I'm trying to get go step by step. So let's say, move forward. That looks good. Move forward. Turn right. Move forward. Move forward. Turn left. Move forward. And he needs one more move forward to get to the acorn. And then we will solve the puzzle. So remember, I'm just going step by step, one step at a time, moves him to each of these squares. Any of the squares that have like the little lines in them, you don't want him to step on those because he will fall into the water because they're broken and he can't stand on them. You want the solid ones. So you have to find the path that is the safest way to get scrap to the acorn. And you're thinking about each of the squares is one step. And then you have to think of your directions, right or left. So now if I do it, it should work. He should be able to get to the acorn. So let's say, there he goes. Ooh, yay. Let's try another one. Figure out what's wrong. So let's do our steps. Move forward, turn right. Move forward. Move forward. Uh-oh, it looks like the problem is he's going, he's not even going in the direction of the acorn. Let's change this to a left. So we have move forward, turn left. Move forward. Now, if he moves forward again, he's going to be in the water. So get rid of this move forward and then he's going to turn right. Oh, oops, I have to reset it again. So now he's moving forward, turning left, moving forward, turning right, moving forward, moving forward, turning right, moving forward. And those are all of the steps to solve the puzzle. So um, I know, I hope I'm not moving too fast for you guys. Maybe I should do it a little bit slower. Um, but you know, you can always go back to the video and pause it while you're doing it at home and see what I did if you do get stuck. But you guys are smart, so I bet you'll figure it out. Okay, this is a challenge puzzle. So these can be a little bit harder. So it says debug this level by rearranging, adding and deleting blocks. So let's go step by step. Move forward. Now, if I move forward again, I'm gonna end up in the water. So let's get rid of one of these move forwards. And if I turn right, I'm gonna be in the water. I think this should be a turn left. So now let's see, move forward. Turn left, move forward, move forward, turn left. And now it says turn right. That's he's gonna end up messed up. He's gotta move forward again. He has to move forward. So we have move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward. Now we know we need to turn right and then to move forward. And that should solve the puzzle. I'm going to run it. Let's see what happens. I'm running the program. Let's see if it works. Step by step. It looks like it worked. Yay. Challenge puzzle complete. Let's try level nine. Look for bugs in the code. Will Scrat reach the acorn or is there a problem? So, hmm. It says move forward, move forward. So move forward, move forward, he'll be right here. Then turn right, then move forward, move forward, then turn left. Ooh, if he turns left and moves forward, he's gonna end up in the water. So it says scratch will reach the acorn because there's no bugs. Scratch, scratch will not reach the acorn because he turns the wrong way. 
Scrat will not reach the acorn because there's not enough move forward blocks. I think it's because he turns the wrong way. Let's say move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, turn left, and he's in the water. T. Use the blocks in the toolbox to build your program, get Scrat to the acorn. So now this one we have to do all by ourselves. So we can see he needs to move forward one time, two times, three times, right? Because you see these three squares. So three move forward blocks. And then well, he's over here. So we need to think what direction to get to the acorn. It's going to be a right turn and then moving one square forward. So our algorithm has one, two, three, four, five steps in it. So let's see here. One, move forward, move forward, move forward, turn right. Move forward and solved. Woohoo! Great job, guys. Um, so lesson five is done. So I would like to go to the next lesson. This is the collector, but I'm wondering if I should stop here. But there's no way for me to know because I can't talk to you. Um, so let's see. So maybe we'll stop here and we'll just have you guys do lesson five just because we're get, just getting started with it. I don't want to overwhelm you with too many things. I do, I do want to try to move a little bit quickly only because there are 18 lessons and there's really no way we could get through all this coding if we just do one per week. We don't have enough weeks. So, but for now, since we're just getting started, we'll just do lesson five. So try lesson five and then next week we'll come back and we'll do lesson six and we'll see how many kids get it done. And hopefully everybody is able to do it and they're get, picking it up, they're understanding how to do the coding. And then we can maybe try to do two in another week. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. Um, so don't forget about your typing, lesson 160 to 169. And then your coding is lesson five, which is debugging in the maze. Okay guys. So have fun with this. Um, and don't forget about the cookies, all right? Um, we'll see you guys next week, all right? Bye, guys.